Hey guys, I'm back out here working on this 1985 Chevy C10 truck. For as long as I can, this wind is really blowing hard. Uh, goes by the name of Walter. Speaking of Walter, my wife, Mrs. P.I.B., made me this. <laughs> He's one of Jeff Dunham's... Uh, little puppet things his name is Walter as well and uh, she put a magnet on the back so I'm gonna stick Walter uh, I guess I guess right there for the time being I think it looks pretty cool okay let me know what you think about Walter uh, Okay, this is what I done in the last video on this truck. I took some, uh, let's just look at it. Do you see anything funny? <laughs> I do. I see all this mess that I done yesterday. Uh, I was using this uh, paper plate as my cup or, you know, dish, whatever, to spray, spray paint into it. And I was using... My friend, Mr. Ruff uh, Scotch Bright, a lot of holes in it, and I'm dabbing because I want it to match the rest of this truck if I can. I've never done this before, as I said in yesterday's video. I've never done this kind of stuff before, so uh, I enjoy doing it. I just wish the wind would quit, quit blowing. I apologize for that. Hope you can hear me. I guess they wanted to see what I'm doing. Oh, I see. Uh, they're after that hawk. Watch him just sit there in one spot. I don't know if you can see that or not. They're after that hawk. They do that because hawks will eat their young. And so they try to scurry them off whenever they see them. Gang up on them, whatever. Okay. Enough of the nature program. Uh, I've learned something from yesterday, and I made the mistake of doing it. When I put paint on here next time, well, here in a few minutes, I just need to just a dab, not not go. See where I'm kind of making my mistakes. I was kind of going like that, and I need to just go like this. And uh, I also, I was thinking last night, what can I do to speed this up and maybe make it look a little bit better. So I got me a piece of this dollar, I always buy a dollar store. Uh, well, actually it's a dollar and a quarter, a dollar fifty now. Uh, the car wash sponge, and I cut a piece off. And uh, I'm going to try to go up through here. I'll, let me show you this other door. And... Uh, I'm just going to try to dab, jab, whatever you want to call it, down through here some. Maybe speed this process up just a little bit. I actually was thinking about getting a little bit of Vaseline, but I don't see that that would really help. I don't know. I'm, I'm Anyway, this is a patina style truck. This is what I love to play with. I'm not hurting it. If you're new to my channel, I just I just like doing experiments. I want to see if I can do this. If I can't, it's no big deal. No big deal at all. So, uh, but I'm just playing around. I get tired of sitting in the house. And uh, I'm just wanting to see if I can make this look. This, this door and this tailgate to match the rest of the truck. So... I'm going to get, get me some of this paint, in case you're new to the channel. I'm using this right here. Uh, leather brown satin. And I have matte black. But I'm going to be using this for now. I tried a little bit of matte black here yesterday. I don't know, I might do a little fine tuning. I'm not really sure. There might be other ways to do this, but this is the way that I'm doing it. 
because I want to see if I can do it. Like I said, I can't hurt nothing. So I'm going to spray some spray paint in here. I'm going to shake it up a little bit. I'm going to keep you from having to watch all that, and I'll get back with you in a minute. Hang in there. Well, it didn't take me but just a few minutes to gum it up some more. <laughs> but let me show you this angle too. My videos are sometimes what to do and what not to do. This might be one of those what not to do's. Here's my plan. Uh, if you'll notice, I'm trying to read the painting on this truck, or lack of paint. All this through here is pretty solid, just brown. No even, nothing, just kind of brown. So I think if I just kind of come through here, I'm trying to do this in somewhat like sections and put this mostly brown and leave it wiggly, 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 kind of, I mean, no certain pattern, it might not look so bad. Uh, I discovered, I think I like using that little sponge better. I just kind of wad it up, dip it in some brown, and, and just kind of tap, tap, tap. It seems to do better for me than uh, scotch Bright. so... And you know what, like I said, I'm, I'm not hurting this truck. And if I don't like it, I'll get it off somehow. Or I still have the option, which was my original plan, was to rattle can the whole truck uh, with a Krylon or, or Rust-Oleum or whatever I have. I could always, I could always two-tone it. I can paint it any color I want to, rattle can, and we'll be good. So I'm just kind of playing around. If this matches... And I like it, I'll leave it. If not, then uh, it might be time to, you know, uh, maybe paint it a whole nother color or paint it all back white. I don't know, but anyway, look at this again, and I'll get back with you in just a minute. See you in a bit. Okay. <laughs> now what do you think? I think I see a little bit of promise here, but I think I might have the wrong shade, I'm thinking. But you know what? Uh, Mother Nature might have to work on this a little bit, meaning rain and everything else kind of come into play a little bit. I took, I uh, should have showed you this, got one of my sanding bricks, blocks, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I don't know what grade it is, but I kind of went over it a little bit, kind of dulled it down just a little, and I even hit it a little right here. But uh, I don't think it's the same shade, but I mean, like I said, if you've seen, my, my plan is, uh, if you watch my videos any length of time, I always put Penetrol on or... I can use boiled linseed oil. I like it too, but uh, but of course I'm not doing it anytime soon. It's too dang cold and it's too windy. On top of that, but I'm trying to trying to make this work. Now I don't know what it would look like. Uh, you know, all wet. I I really don't know. I think that might be a different. I'm not sure. Y'all, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, you might think it looks like crap, and uh, <laughs> I'd agree with you. It looks pretty, looks pretty rough, doesn't it? I mean, it, there's places. I mean, it looks like the real deal. And then there's, I have a tendency of going too much too sometimes. But I mean, look at the truck. It's got, it's got a lot going on with it, and I'm just trying to make it kind of match. If I can make the door and the tailgate match the rest of the truck, wouldn't that be awesome? And I'm having fun too. So now down through here, I mean, right there and right here, there's a lot more. You know what? I might could put just a smidgen of black on there and see what that does. I don't know. Like I said, I'm just having fun. And I hope you don't mind hanging out with me while I do this because it's kind of kind of fun to me just to play around with something can't hurt the truck so i don't know but it's something to do today and uh 
I'm, I'm looking at it at the same time that you are and I'm not sure I'm not sure if I like it or not sometimes it takes a while for things to grow onto me it, it takes a while for things for me to start liking something is what I'm trying to say so I don't know on this tailgate I don't know. A lot to do. Uh, I, I'm just, I'm just thinking as I'm sitting here. Uh, just leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I might do a little bit more to this just to see what I can, what else I can, <laughs> what else I can gum up. I don't know if I should. Let's see. I'm, lo I'm looking at this stuff here, and. I don't know, golly. I say that a lot, don't I? I don't know. And really, I don't know. I've never done body work. I've never done paint work. All I've ever done is rattle can. That's all I've ever done. And uh, But this truck right here has got me stumped. As far as patina style, that's what I love. I normally just paint one, and then I make it look patina style and put penetrol on it most of the time, or boiled linseed oil. Most of the time, penetrol. But, uh, I just think this would look really cool, uh, with some penetrol on it, but, uh, I don't know, maybe I went too much, maybe, they, I don't know. I wonder if I got some, uh, I don't know, I wonder if I got some wide and put some speckles of wide in there, would that help, but I I don't know. I just have to. Anyway, you know what? I'll just end the video here because I make my videos too long. I might work on it some more and I'll make another video. And, you know, if I continue on <laughs> messing up this beautiful truck. <laughs> but, uh, all kidding aside, I mean, I'm trying to stand back to look. I mean,. Like from here, it looks like the real deal, kind of. I mean, I'm I'm looking at it in person, and I kind of have a, a little bit of an advantage over y'all looking at it through this this phone. But uh, I don't know. It kind of looks real in a way. What have I got to lose, right? See if I just uh, if I if I try to match the rest of this and just speckle, speckle. I don't know. Anyway, I'm I'm tired of saying I don't know, and I bet y'all are too. I hope y'all's having a great day. God bless y'all. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know what you think about Walter here. And uh, you know, it's a it's fun, but it's a work in progress. I I really am enjoying doing this, and I enjoy talking to y'all a whole bunch. I just don't want to make my videos real long. So you're watching Prime at his best. If you'd like to subscribe, I'd appreciate it. If you'd like to leave a comment up or a good suggestion, I don't need, you know, terrible comments. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what'd you do this or whatever? You know, this is what I want to do. It's my truck and I want to do this. And uh, I, I try to do things. I try to learn myself. So, like I said, I'm not a body man. I'm not a painter. I'm not mechanic i'm not good at anything i'm just saying somebody like you can do something just like me <laughs> oh boy i, I didn't mean to insult you hey y'all have a great day you're watching primer is best i am on instagram primer is best as well and i have a second youtube channel called man on a budget i'm on instagram man on a budget one and i'm on facebook primer is best i hope that you will watch my videos i just realized i think it was today or yesterday that i have 1400 videos and a lot of them uh you know are, are trucks i've had in it's normally c10 trucks on my videos 96 7 percent of them are c10 trucks if you like c10 trucks you might like to go back in the beginning and work your way through. I've had a bunch of them. I've sold a bunch of them. C10 trucks. And uh, you might enjoy reminiscing. If you've already been a subscriber for a long time. You might enjoy 
watching some of the older videos. One popped up on YouTube today when I was watching TV there waiting for it to warm up. Uh, and they was talking, uh, the video was about my 71 C10 truck, Big Turd. Golly, that's a great truck. It turned out awesome. Golly, that's a nice truck. And I wonder sometimes why I sell why I sell them because I really did love that truck. I love them all, but I can't get any more trucks until I sell one. So in order to save one, I have to sell one. So anyway, enough of that. Y'all have a great day. God bless y'all. If you'd like to watch them, the videos, I mean, that's fine. I appreciate y'all commenting. Please subscribe. It helps my YouTube channel out a whole bunch. Y'all have a great day. See you later.